Hi everyone, it's Kelly here. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time and welcome back if you've been before. Always happy to have anyone who'd like to come and chat books with me. <laughs> uh, so today I'm just, this will be a very short video. It's a mini book haul. Um, essentially, I, I know I've said in the past, I've the last couple of book hauls that I've done have been massive like massive massive book hauls and so I've I said I'm not going to do monthly ones anymore however December surprisingly I did not acquire that many books <laughs> so uh, it's a bit more sensible today and that's even with Christmas and everything so how about that so we're going to call this the December book haul <laughs> all right so I've got a couple of categories for you one is uh, gifts the other is purchases and I got one book from a little street library. So let's have a chat about these books that I've gotten in the month of December. Let's start with our uh, category of gifts. Now, I have already spoken about this book um, and I mentioned in my last uh, book haul that I uploaded that I had received a copy for Christmas. That's Love Stories by Trent Dalton. I am going to, I'm planning on reading this one in February when it is getting closer to um, Valentine's Day. Um, so look out for that. Uh, but this is essentially a collection of short stories. Trent Dalton, um, is from Brisbane in Australia. He sat out uh, by the train station in Brisbane and um, with, a, with a typewriter and a sign that said, tell me your love stories. And he has uh, transcribed those stories and turned them into um, more, I guess, literary versions of those stories um, for us to read. And I can't wait. The other gift book that I received um, this year from the same person, so thank you very much, Louisa, uh, was Any Ordinary Day by Lee Sales. Uh, Lee is a journalist here in Australia, and this book is all about her experiences with um, interviewing people um, who have just been through traumatic events, essentially, um, it's sort of exploring um, the way that people react to those events and, um, you know, the resilience of people to kind of make it through things. And I can't wait to read this. I'm planning on taking this one away with me on holidays, um, and which I'm about to head off to uh, early in January. So by the time you're watching this, I will probably already be on holidays um, and I will hopefully already be part way through, um, through this book as well. So I'm very, very excited to read those two. The other gift that I received was a very, very tiny version, which I'm gonna hold up to the camera, of Blinky Bill. This is the actual size of it head for reference um <laughs> and this was from my cats uh so i found this in my book cart um wrapped up and the in the two section it said two curatorially yours from the cats so um that was very kind of the cats to give me a very tiny copy of blinky bill that i might be able to use in my australian reading challenge thank you cats Next, I'm going to show you the book that I got in the Little Street Library, and that is The Blue Cat by Ursula Dubasarsky. Um, Ursula Dubasarsky is an Australian author, and she's currently our children's laureate, I believe, um, although I suspect her tenure in that position is maybe coming to an end. I think they do it for two years. Um, so this is, I picked it up on the strength of her her name. Um, so this is uh, set in 1942 in Sydney uh, and it is um, with the war is coming to Australia so we're already in World War II and there is a threat of bombardment in Australia itself um, not just in far far away countries where it had, had previously been. Um, so this is a child um, I believe who is telling this story. Uh, her name is Columba and her a, bo a boy called Ellery from far, far away, it doesn't say where, um, arrives at her school and a myst mysterious stray cat appears in the neighbourhood. Both the boy and the cat have secrets. Can they help Columba make sense of the changes that are happening around her? Or are there some things she may never understand? So it sounds like an interesting one from a very um, fantastic author. My last category, very, very... Uh, very few book purchases for myself um, in December. I certainly did buy some books for other people. Um, but the first one that I have purchased is this one called For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. Now, I thought I had already purchased this book 
on a Kindle. And when I was looking through my Kindle, um, I realized that it was a, a, at a period where I had changed my card details. And so the sale actually hadn't gone through. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I can just get it in paperback. Because I, I bought this at the time it was released. Um, or perhaps even uh, as a pre, a pre um, what do they call that? You buy it before it's released. Anyway, I thought I had done that, but I had not. Um, so I purchased myself a paper copy and I'm really looking forward to reading this. I think I might save this for um, autumn uh, in Australia, which is coming up in, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, it's been quite hot. Uh, so today's not too bad, but it's been very, very warm. Um, so in sort of uh, from March onwards is our autumn. So I'm very much looking forward to getting to this at some point very, very soon. It's, a be I believe it is a Red Riding Hood retelling. Um, so it should be really, really interesting. Um, another book that I purchased was this one, and I saw this on, I think, somebody's Instagram, um, Animals of a Bygone Era, which is a, an illustrated compendium by Marja Safstrom, Maya Safstrom, um, and it's just gorgeous. Um, and it's talking about uh, animals that existed in the past so there's some like dinosaur -y type of ones in there um so it's illustrated uh and has just some you know brief descriptive type of things in there i can't wait to read this it's so cute <laughs> and the very last uh book is actually one i did not purchase but my husband purchased um it's a, from a it's the third compendium in a a series of comics that we read called Black Magic, um, which is written by Greg Rucker and illustrated by Nicholas Scott. Um, Nicholas Scott is an Australian um, who has worked on some really high profile uh, comics and we heard her speaking at a Comic-Con type of um, event some years ago now. Uh, I believe it was actually when uh, Black Magic was first coming out and that's where we heard about it. Um, and we both really, really enjoyed, um, well, both enjoy her illustrating a style, but also have enjoyed um, the stories as well. And Greg Rucker was there too, I believe. Um, so yeah, she just is like very kind of, um, has a really expressive illustration style. Um, that's really, really interesting to read. And the stories are really good as well. Um, so yeah, I am excited to get to this at some point. Um, and I might even reread compendiums one and two uh, before I get to this. I think this is the end of the story. I don't think they are continuing it after this one, um, so, which is a bit of a shame, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, very excited about that. So that is it for my book haul for December. So a much more reasonable book haul than my previous ones have been. Um, but I'm really excited to get to all of these books at some point, some of them sooner rather than later. Um, and others I'll just sort of get to when I get to and I can't wait. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's always great to hear, uh, to see people interacting with my um, my book, book content, <laughs> either here or over on Instagram. So so uh, if you're not already following me on Instagram and you'd like to, the details will be below in the description. Tell me about what you got in December. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you got some really good um, Chrissy gifts or um, just bought yourself something nice, because why not treat yourself? All right. I will see you on the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.